We are on the way to Nag's Head and we need to put in the directions. The first place we're going is the Winchester Supercharger, which is 135 Regency Lakes Drive, Winchester, Virginia. There it goes. In two hours and 35 minutes, it is 138 miles from here. Other important news, it is 1146 p.m. And we are taking off in the middle of the night. Us mountain folk don't like traffic so much. We're going to drive at night. What do you think about that? I agree. Got about two hours of sleep. And I was like, you ready to go? He's like, yep, I'm ready. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. Gas. Four ninety five in Brewston, regular. We got 15 miles till we get to the supercharger. We technically do have it in the GPS, but the car doesn't know that's what we're gonna do when we get there. So navigate to the Winchester supercharger. That's it right there. And it looks like it's got me. And that's the most important part, preconditioning battery for fast charging. It's all going down in 14 miles. We made it to the supercharger. We drove through the middle of the middle of the middle of nowhere. 49%, 159 miles of range. Let's plug in and see what happens. Nerd data is so much fun. We need to plan our next destination. 10101 James Madison Highway in Bealton, Virginia. We are ready to hit the road. We have 227 miles of range right now. Let's get on the road. So we're back on the road. We actually have to take 50 east for 15 miles, it looks like. And we're at 74%, 242 miles, nine bucks and some at the last supercharger. Totally unnecessary charge stop, but that was a rejuvenate stop. We both used the restroom, so the bladder wins that battle. Keep that in mind when you have to have 400 miles of range because I want to meet your 400 mile bladder. Bealton Supercharger, bingo. 250, calculating route. That's a banger. In 500 feet, you will arrive at your destination. They're back here around the corner, but they're definitely here. Let's plug it in. Let's see what we get. Nerd data. 80, 90, 100, 104. Looks like that's where we're going to be at. 104. 60% charge. 195 miles of range, we're gonna use the bathroom. You just put the supercharger in that's next on your trip and that's where you make your stops. We'll never have to think about charging if we're always rolling around with 70% battery. 4.51 a.m. right now. We're up to $2.78 right now. Let's find the next chargers. What I did was I typed in all the chargers. We just came to Bealton and the next one's going to be Williamsburg. It's 842 Merrimack Trail, Williamsburg, Virginia. It looks like 131 miles, two hours, four minutes. We're on the way to Williamsburg. So we're back at this light again, uh, turning left coming in. We sat here for five minutes, like no exaggeration. And now we come this way to turn left and it's 11 seconds. All right. <laughs> Here we go, I-95. It's 5.30 in the morning. Future me has already embarked on my way back. So let's just show like a comparison of like I-95 traffic. Obviously it's coming up. I don't know what's gonna happen, but neither do you. And don't fast forward and skip it. So 
show me the Williamsburg supercharger. That's the one. Bingo. Preconditioning. To give you a weird sense of what's going on, that Model S right there is only the second Tesla we've seen this entire trip. Check this. Nerd data. 900. <laughs> There's a thousand. Oh, 240, 250. It wasn't there long, but it was there. It moves quick enough to where you can just kind of sit and watch the numbers go up. It's 706. So I'm gonna have a cliff bar. I packed the goodies, man. She's got pasta salad. If Arnold Schwarzenegger was killing pepperonis, he'd have nine millimeter bullets for him right there. We now have 66% battery. She's eating pasta salad, I'm eating Doritos. And we gotta go to uh, Chesapeake. 101. Hillcrest. Hillcrest Parkway. There she is. Let's get on the road. <laughs> debacle with the GPS and I don't think we're too far off here but we're at the Norfolk Virginia North Military something supercharger we got a pissed off caravan in front of us that was funny. turn left onto Edward Street you like squealed the tires yeah. <laughs> Tesla superchargers we're here well I need this is like crayons I need to learn to draw between <laughs> the lines it's terrible Oh, that thing's a little. Could be more. Could be a little better. All right. Hey, we're green. Charging. 125. It's more than a 125. Nerd right, data. Right, right. Is it a 150? I'm thinking it's a 150. I wanted to go to a 250 kilowatt charger, but I didn't want to pay like a $4 toll just to go use it, so I didn't. This 150 is going to do just fine. We're tapering now, I'm down to 88 kilowatts. I've got 213 miles of range and we have 79 miles to get there. So we can take off right now. There is nothing intimidating about doing this in a Tesla. So let's head on down the road. Gonna take my horse to the Newtown Road. We're avoiding tolls. We're on 168 Business South. Just rolls off the tongue. So uh, this is, what, 30 minutes now? We started here 30 minutes ago and we've made it to here. It was an accident with a truck. we made it we're at this supercharger I'm excited I got some strawberries and uh, I think I'll make a salad okay a little bit more nerd data our total trip was 280 kilowatt hours we only paid for 165 based on the charging stats in the Tesla app so that means 115 of them were free turns out all the ones in the outer banks at the Kill Devil Hills charger were absolutely free so not only were they fast but they were free super good to know Okay, so this is our first trip to Outer Banks, and we came down here for our anniversary. And I must say, yesterday was amazing. We went to Paradise Fun Park, and we played um, putt-putt golf, which is really amazing because they have great water features, and it's just a really fun time. Um, very pricey down here. It, to me, you know, we paid, what, $30, I think, just to play miniature golf. <laughs> We were trying to find, believe it or not, we're, you know, right here at the Atlantic Ocean and there's many, many seafood places, but there are very many people down here. And like we tried to get into Miller's, which looked amazing and I wanted to go there to eat, but there was literally people sitting outside on benches just waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting to get in to get a place to eat. And there's many places down here, but there's more people, I think, than there are places to eat. 
Um, so we ended up settling for pizza, which was an hour wait, but it was worth it. It was very good. So we walked over to see the ocean, and I got to see the ocean for the first time ever, which was, again, I could spend the whole day there. It's so beautiful. Um, they have white sandy beaches. Um, the vibe down here is pretty good. You have to be very skilled at driving <laughs> because it's like the was it uh, a raceway park on the main strip. However, there is a secondary strip that runs along the main strip that's kind of like the back road for the locals. And then we got to go and see the lighthouse, um, which was very cool. And we got to see the Wright brothers um, where they had their first flight, which was awesome too. So yesterday was an amazing day. Last night, uh, we were in the hotel room for, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half. We checked in early and put our stuff in the room, but then, you know, there's so much to do down here that we really didn't spend a whole lot of time in the room. And then when I came, you know, we both showered and I came and laid down on the bed and I'm looking at Adam like this, like, he's like, are your eyes bothering you? I was like, yeah, they're really dry, you know, and I can't find my eye drops. And here my eyes were really like on fire. And I think I had acclimated to this, the mustiness of the room and we got to looking around the room because Adam started not feeling well and there was literally like water marks and mold everywhere but long story short um, we were there maybe an hour and a half total and they didn't have any other rooms available it was the only one down here in all the hotels there's no place to stay you can't even stay at a campground you know uh, yesterday because everything's booked up for three hundred dollars we slept in our Tesla <laughs> So we paid them to sleep in our Tesla, which is hilarious. So then we got up and uh, went to breakfast, and the food was amazing. We had waffles and yes. sausage. sausage and coffee. As I'm into my second cup of coffee, I lifted about three quarters up to here, and all of a sudden, the hand, I'm still holding the handle in my hand, and the it just broke off, and the whole cup of full coffee hit the table went everywhere made a loud bang everybody in the restaurant looked at me i'm covered like my entire shirt my shorts my seat the floor completely covered in coffee i love coffee but i don't know that i like to wear it as a perfume or bathe in it adam was able to meet with the owner um, who ended up comping out our meal we've had some adventures that i'm sure we're probably going to look back on for years and years and laugh about later um, but it's just been one of those things that's been like if it could happen to two people it's happened to us down here in outer banks this weekend so next we headed to Rodanthe. I hope I said that right. Rodanthe. And it was an intimidating trip if you're scared of water, but we ended up at the Rodanthe Surf Shop. Make sure you check them out. The people there were really nice. And we were going to go to Cape Hatteras, but we decided that was a very long way. After that, we headed back towards the mainland and eventually back towards home. I did a whole lot of planning and looked up all the superchargers and put them all in my GPS for our trip down here. But for our trip back, I just said to go home. We're going to see how that works out. Williamsburg. Two hours, four minutes from now, 63% and 205 miles of range. This is 115 miles away. We'll check it out. Which one's he in? B, C's in D. Okay, 
ramping. Nerd data is so much fun. Double fist to one fifty-five. It looks like thirty minutes remaining to continue trip. Man, these vegetables taste really good. Yeah, the vegetables definitely made the sandwich. I was, they, I'm glad you added whatever you put on there. You put cucumber. It's Two dollars extra. It just said assorted vegetables. <laughs> you don't even get a choice. Mm -mm. Oh, that's a restaurant for you. <laughs> we got three minutes remaining to continue trip. We're going to make it to Winchester with 11% remaining. We're making it home with 17% remaining. All right, I-95 Mayhem. Let's do it. Is there any way to go back roads? Um, we well, went ahead west. Oh, yeah, west, not east. Yeah. yeah. So. Get off 54 west. Okay. 54, this is what we're on to uh -huh. 33 north. So we're going to Montpelier, Montpelier, Montpelier. We're doing this, and this is what we're doing. Bam. 100 miles from Winchester. Urka Durka, I heard some Urka Durka going on there. You. Oh, here we go, buddy. Let's do it. Get in there. Come on. Starting. Talking. All right, and let's watch the ramp. Hi. Nerd right, data is so much fun. 180, 190, 200, 220. It says 15 minutes remaining to continue trip. We need to get to 138 to make it home. We have 176 miles of range, and we're going to arrive at home with 6%. Now turn right onto Berryville Pike. Now turn left onto Martinsburg Pike. Martinsburg Pike. Here we come. We stop late. In yes. 500 feet, turn right onto North Frederick Pike. Okay, we're 11 miles on this guy. Now turn left onto East Blueberry Pike. Here we go. Heading into the middle of nowhere, yeah. Ten miles on this road. Quit the spit. So we saw a bunch of deer, and uh, yeah, I have to slow down now to like 40, because it's the only way to react for deer. We're right onto Gaston Road. If you didn't believe we were in the middle of nowhere before, now it's official. So it's about to get dark and lonely here on these streets. Now turn right onto Pawpool Road. Pawpool. Let's try. Solid. What was that same Model X that passed us there with the supercharger? Uh, yeah, I must have forgot something. Dude, wow. Dude, look at this. Take some cajonies to do that, buddy. Props on the cajonies. Keep right onto Queen City Drive. After we got back on the interstate in Cumberland, I didn't film a whole lot of stuff because I was really busy looking at the range. I did not take into account we were going into the mountains. So when we arrived at home, we were at 5% battery. I got the you have to plug it in warning. Connie was even a little freaked out. But we did it. We made it home. Let's run down some of the... Nerd data is so much fun.
So here's the rundown. 1,090 miles traveled, 280 kilowatt hours used, giving us 257 watt hours per mile average. 81 kilowatt hours purchased on Saturday, 84 kilowatt hours purchased on Sunday, totaling $61. It took us 12 hours and 10 minutes to get to the Outer Banks. We charged for about an hour and 10 minutes. We started with 94%. We got there with about 35%. We left from the Outer Banks at around 20 minutes after 1. We got home at 11.30, 10 hours, 10 minutes. We spent 50 minutes charging. We started with with 63%, we arrived with 5%. Two things need considered. We got 115 kilowatt hours for free at the Kill Devil Hill Supercharger, and we did not ever break the speed limit. Do we expect you to do that? I'm not your daddy. So that's all the data, and that was our second wedding anniversary trip to the Outer Banks. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe if you made it this far. Totally worth the click, and leave a like if you were entertained. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.